meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, Virgo. It's Elle here to do um, a love reading for you. So it's going to be about why your ex is holding on or coming back to the relationship. And it's also going to be about why you're holding on or coming back to the relationship and then the energy between the two of you. So let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Virgo, it looks like your ex is holding on for a few different reasons. Maybe you're still open to the opportunity of um, their slick words that they say to you. They, they feel like they can manipulate you. They can still sell you a dream, promises, okay? Uh, you're still open to hearing it or you tolerate it. It's a cycle also. They just, they may cycle in and out, okay? Uh, yeah, they come in and out. They're on assignment, you know, like, okay, let me go and, you know, deal with Virgo and give Virgo some time. And then when I'm done with that or bored with it or, I've, you know, I, I've conquered it, excuse me, then I'm gone, you know? So somebody, I don't know if they hit you up and you hang out or they they visit you or they come to you or, or you go to them. Um, the ex does something to where they know that they can keep coming back or they can keep the ring open. They can keep the circle open or the circle is still open. Something isn't broken. Um, you haven't really come into awareness the magic that they do, you know, in regards to you. Or the magic that they're doing in this relationship. The magic is the words that they're saying to you. The messages that they're saying to you. Um, they keep you stuck, hooked on them. Um, in the cycle. They cycle in, they cycle out. This also could just be cycles in terms of promises made. If, if I promise you a lot of stuff and I deliver none of it or some of it, then you'll keep your you know, keep going because of the promises, you know, you keep hope alive because of the promises. And somebody knows that it's just like they, you aren't broken or you, you haven't broken the chain or you haven't, uh, walked away. This could be, this is like devil energy, codependency also. Why you stay stuck in it? Run, leave and, um, good body, great body and hidden. Okay. You may see somebody playing the long game in this or somebody's playing the long game. Like they see longevity. Their motive is hidden. Their agenda is hidden. Um, someone sees the potential in the relationship or in the person or they see that this person has something that they really want um, or that it could be bigger than or they're going to be bigger than where they are if they just stick with it. Um the ex keeps coming back. Virgo, you stay with somebody because they have a nice body also. It could be sexual for you. 
It could just, it could also be a hidden relationship. This is also about that cycling in and cycling out. You run and you leave when it gets a little bit too intimate and close and lovey dovey and vulnerable. You don't need that. You may have, you may also be running to and fro. You run to this person and then you go back to someone else. Maybe you, you are obligated to be with a wife, a husband. The ex stays hooked or keeps coming back because of maybe words spoken or they feel like they can get you to open up, give you, give them a ring. If somebody's hanging in there for a ring, they want commitment. They want solidarity. They, this is why the ex keeps coming back or they're hanging in there. But Virgo, your motive is hidden or uh, what they don't see in regards to you is that you're not showing your emotions. They can't read you. You're, you're being very critical, analytical, rational. They can't read you. And therefore, it makes you extremely intriguing to this person. That's why they also come back. The energy that's between the two of you is beauty. Like it could be superficiality. Somebody is beautiful. Someone does look good. Someone has a lot to offer in terms of looks. Um, someone is the perfect person. Someone just uh, hangs in there because someone is beautiful. They, they haven't met anyone more beautiful or um, someone who they would be willing to risk this person for. Um, again, somebody, this is also lifestyle. Somebody is hanging in there so that they have a lifestyle change. Um, they see the beauty in the future. They see the beauty in maybe hanging in there like long term. Somebody's playing the long game here. Let's see. Why is your ex still holding on to you and hanging on the tower? Because all of a sudden, um, all of a sudden there's a blow up or... I don't know if they want to blow up your spot or they want this relationship to come out into the open. Oh, we do have open there. It's like maybe they they want things to be uh, known. Uh, you guys keep having the same arguments about the same things. And now this person is at a place of um, I'm going to tell the truth or I'm going to tell the world. Uh, why the tower here? Somebody wants absolute change. They want fast change, too. Um, they're going to bring down the tower. They're going to out you or put you out. What is this? The justice card. Okay, so um, somebody wants something to be made real, made known. You need to make it legal. Put Give me a ring or you need to get out of that relationship that you're in. You need to divorce. You need to make something legal. You need to do the right thing by me. So the ex is hanging in there because, again, there might have been promises made or or this person, you know, sees the potential in you, Virgo, or vice versa. Um, somebody, also karma. Someone feels like they're hanging in there so that they feel like they need to apologize to you or do the right thing with you. Or they feel like they need to go backwards before they can go forward. They need to close the cycle or close the ring here. Um, it's still open. Yeah, so somebody feels like they need to have closure. So that's why the ex is still hanging around. Um, maybe they need to give you a message of closure. Why is Virgo still hanging around, holding on, or, or keep coming back? The King of Swords. Somebody is really out for themselves, out to get what, whatever it is they want. Someone is wanting to be a bachelor, they, the eternal bachelor. Someone doesn't want to get married, and that's what's hidden here. And if the other person found out, they would run and leave this person. Um, somebody is also all about you know, the ambition, the ambition of their own life. Uh, they could be a narcissist or a covert narcissist. They're just more so concerned about self. They put self before any and everything else. Um, this is somebody here. Virgo, you are hanging in there because you're getting what you want, you know, on your terms. You don't have to commit or you haven't made a commitment or you have high standards or and, and you're not ready to commit. Um, but you're still something that's still open to you. The relationship is still open to you. Somebody's legs are still open to you. Somebody's heart is still open to you. Therefore, you're sticking around. Um, this is somebody who's calculated also. Again, long, long term or long game playing here. Um, 
what is why is beauty between Virgo and which person? The Four of Cups. So it's like um, self-centeredness, not seeing the the opportunity. Someone doesn't want to miss out on the opportunity. Someone keeps someone around because they are beautiful. But if they had something or they found somebody who was so much more, who was beautiful and smart and this and that, they would, you know, trade up. This is somebody here could be settling. Also, Four of Cups it says somebody not seeing really the beauty, uh, the gift, the blessing that someone is. OK, they're only looking external. They're not looking internally. Um, someone's not looking, you know, they're not looking deep before they actually take a leap here. Um, the four of cups, somebody's also internalizing everything, you know, drawing it back into themselves. Um, there could have been rejection here also, or somebody feels rejected. Uh, somebody is still playing the field here and not seeing that they have something valuable. And that's the energy that's resting between the two of you. Somebody's sticking around because they feel like eventually this person is going to look up and see the value in them. The queen of wands, the queen of swords, this three of cups. There's a lot of women here, a lot of people here. Um, the six of swords, the eight of swords and the hangman. So there is a hidden relationship here. Um, somebody is just getting what they want because they don't have anything to offer uh this queen of wands who is the other woman okay the other woman hangs around <coughs> excuse me due to the promises made the king and queen of swords this is a relationship that's you know it's it's calculated the long game we're more so committed to the legacy the longevity of what we've established we're not even really committed to one another Therefore, I kind of allow him or her to have another person. We've been doing this a very long time. Yeah, I, I allow three of cups. I allow my person to have something outside of the marriage. It it keeps the peace, the six of swords, um, moving on in secrecy or moving on or doing something in secrecy. The King of Swords could be planning to move on in secrecy because he's so, you know, the relationship is so disjointed and so not together. With the Queen of Swords, there is somebody else here that somebody wants to move on to, reconcile with, be with, feeling like they're the one that is getting away. Somebody's staying in some relationship or some dynamic because, you know, it is, um, it looks good, the status quo or... You know, it looks good for the optics or people looking in on the relationship. There is a secret relationship to hang man. Somebody leaves somebody hanging again. Somebody cycling in and out um, and they're getting what they want from this person while not giving much or they give what they can. Um, eight of swords. Somebody's in some, like some cyclical ring. Somebody feels like they don't know how to get out of. OK, they don't know how to run or leave. They feel like they're in jail or they're they're stuck here. There could be magic done in regards to making somebody stuck or keeping someone stuck. There, somebody sees that this third party is beautiful or that they can have a beautiful relationship with them, but they have to reject them. But this this third party keeps coming back. The ex keeps coming back or keeps hanging in there. This could be a toxic relationship where all parties involved need to learn something here. Let me see what's going on here for Virgo. This got real complicated. Let me know if it resonates for you. I pray for someone just like you. This is what I'm saying. Someone feels like um, this is the person for me, but I can't have this person. I'm not happy. So this King of Swords, if somebody's not happy, um, they're asking maybe a third party, give me another try. I dream about you. It's just like um, somebody has to stay in something because they already are in it they have already established themselves in it let's see what else um for virgo manipulative behavior magic up here somebody is manipulating the other person to stay stuck to not move on uh, to not follow their dream to not go after that other person yeah i can't choose someone can't choose also because they might be a little bit fearful but also they could be under spell work 
Somebody is under spell work here. So what I lied, I'm a narcissist. Someone is saying that I learned from the best also. Okay, I don't know. This is crazy. Um, some, someone saying, yeah, I lied. I'm a narcissist. It is what it is. Um, what else? Someone is telling the third party, wait for me. Your friends and family cause a lot of drama. Okay. Um, and, and they want you to know, third party, I am leaving. So they feel like they are leaving. They can actually do it. It's like they need to break the chain here. Okay. Um, they're keeping their, maybe their plans hidden or secret. Someone's saying, wait for me. It's like somebody's trying to get something in order, in accordance with. Every time this person feels like they can leave, the ex here or the person that they're in a relationship with, because this just took a turn, uh, they do something to keep them stuck. And then the third party or the ex uh, or the person that they, that they don't have any obligation to, um, they just stay waiting. I don't think they're absolutely happy about waiting, but they, they stay waiting, anticipating. This has been going on for a very long time, this third party situation, this girlfriend, boyfriend thing, even though somebody already has a wife. This is going to be tough for somebody to leave and really, yeah, it's, it's going to be a challenge because some secret is going to come out. Every time somebody tries to leave, somebody says, I'm, I'm going to out you. I'm going to put you out or put your business out. This is way above my pay grade, Virgo. I don't know what y'all got going on. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. If you took something from the reading, you can always give back. You could buy me a coffee. Um, the link is below. And if you want to engage with like-minded business individuals like yourself, you can always join the KTMG Keep the Momentum Going monthly conference call where we, I, share valuable, practical, and spiritual advice in regards to starting your own business, maintaining your business, or business growth. This is what I have for you, Virgo. Also, take advantage of booking or scheduling your a complimentary discovery call. If you're a business individual, you want to see if I can help you, if if, if uh, coaching sessions will help you get to your uh, business goals, okay? Yeah, there's some sad man here who really would want to be somewhere else with this journey and this uh, despair card. Somebody's under some heavy spell work. This is what I have for you, Virgo. Take care, many blessings.